Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ruth and this is Seamstress Ruth. So I've been having a bit of a think what to talk to you about today. Um, I have got a really lovely make but I can't share it with you yet because it's a gift and I've had my birthday and I've got some really nice presents sewing related stuff but I didn't know if you'd be that interested in just seeing me show off what I got for my birthday. Um, and I also went to the sewing social at the weekend um, but there'll probably be lots of videos with content from there so um, yeah I didn't want to bore you with any of that stuff so I was having a real good think about what I could talk about today and then it suddenly dawned on me that it's March 2024 and that means it's almost four years since I got sent home from work with a laptop <laughs> and um, some brief instructions on how to work remotely and then not long after that we all got told to stay at home. I can't believe that was four years ago, it's crazy really. On one hand it seems like it was only yesterday and then on the other hand it seems like a different lifetime. But anyway, yeah, it, it dawned on me that um, the four year anniversary for that is coming up. I wasn't sewing at the time. Um, I hadn't I hadn't sewn for a long time really. I learned how to sew on my mum's sewing machine when I was a little girl um, and I really enjoyed it. I used to make scrunchies and um, I even made a pair of trousers once with a zip in. Um, so that's quite um, an achievement for someone so young. But when I left home, buying a sewing machine didn't really seem like an essential. So I hadn't sewn for quite a long time up at, you know, at this point, four years ago. I'd really wanted to, I'd thought a few times over the years I'd really love to get myself a sewing machine and get back into sewing, but it never quite got to the top of the list. But then all of a sudden we had all this time, we weren't allowed to go anywhere, we were not really allowed to see our friends, not, not at the first anyway. So that was, um, that was the perfect time to get myself a sewing machine and I did. So I bought this lovely Janome machine that I've got here, still got it. Um, it it's brilliant. It's the Hobby Craft model. I'll put the description the, the model in the description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, it changed my life really. <laughs> so what I thought I'd share with you today is some ways in which things have changed in the last four years um, in my sewing practice and life generally. That, um, that sewing's had an impact on me. So I think the first thing that has changed for me is the type of fabric that I now sew with. When I first started sewing, um, like I said, it had been a really long time since I'd done any sewing really, and the first sort of influences that I had when I started to sew again were all people that were sewing things like cotton jersey and... Um, Ponty Roma and scuba and scuba crepe, things like that. So when I restarted sewing, that was the kind of fabric I was sewing with. I didn't have an overlocker at the time, so I was sewing everything on my Janome sewing machine. And I didn't really know a lot about finishing, finishing seams and that kind of thing, but it wasn't really that bad when I was sewing with jersey fabric, because as you know, you can get away with not finishing the seams. So yeah, I was making lots of sort of jumpers and t-shirts and jersey dresses. Um, and it, I, I was, it, they were okay. <laughs> they were all right makes. Um, but I never really felt like really confident in what I'd made. And I'd always feel a little bit anxious if I wore them going out and about. But yeah, that's totally changed now. I, you know, I, I, I actually prefer sewing woven garments now. Um, all kinds of fabrics. Um, I really like to sew with nice chunky cord, I like to sew with linen, um, I like to sew with canvas, um, so yeah I'd say woven fabrics are really my go-to now, they're my favourite. And don't get me wrong, I love a snuggly jumper dress, um, you know, a nice, a nice jumper in the autumn and the winter, and they're really quick speedy makes and I have now got an overlocker, so <laughs> my finishing touches are much better. Um, but yeah, Woven is my go-to now, whereas when I started it was definitely stretch jersey fabrics. 
So the second thing that's changed really is the type of pattern companies that I usually go for. Um, when I first started sewing, again, the, the patterns that I first heard about all tended to come from um, maybe um, American firms where they produce like, uh, they've got an incredible number of patterns in, in their um, in their inventory and they're quite low cost and you know there was all kinds of stuff on there tops dresses trousers things for kids things for men things for women homeware all sorts of stuff and that's kind of what I was bombarded with so they were the type of patterns that I was using when I first went back into sewing don't get me wrong I'm like don't think I'm saying there's anything wrong with those pattern companies because there's absolutely not I'm just telling you what's changed for me so um yeah now I can't remember really the last time I sewed a pattern from any of those companies. Um, I was yeah so happy when I found this all indie pattern um, community. I suppose is that the right word? But yeah, indie pattern designers. That's it. And uh, yeah, they opened up my eyes to a, a whole different. Um, oh, sorry, thanks. Biting his nails. <laughs> Why does he always do that? Stop it. Um, yeah, so anyway, now I'm definitely more an indie pattern girl. Um, I did try some big four patterns sort of in the middle there, but um, couldn't really get on with them. I don't like the tissue paper, um, and yeah, the instructions aren't always super helpful. But now, when I go on the fold line and I look for a new pattern, I filter it just to show indie patterns. <laughs> so things really, really have changed <laughs> since those early days. So the next thing that changed, and I think this was the real big difference in my in my sewing life, really, is that I discovered the online sewing community. So Instagram and YouTube and all the fabulous sewers and makers sharing their makes, their plans, their experiences, their just everything. It really opened my eyes. I didn't even know it existed before that. I'd never really been a big social media person. Um, probably had a Facebook that I didn't go on for about five years <laughs> and um, I didn't have Instagram at all and I was one of those people who used to think why don't like, nobody cares <laughs> why is everyone sharing their whole lives on uh, social media no one's bothered but I think that's just because I hadn't found the right group of people for me maybe um, but yeah I found the um, the online sewing community and everything changed so that's really what um, opened my eyes to discovering indie patterns and um, sort of independent fabric stores and uh, people making their own labels and sewing notions and tools and all kinds of stuff. And I was just like, wow, this is, this is incredible. I love it. This is where I want to be and this is what I want to be doing. So I started my Instagram page about towards the end of 2021 I think so it's yeah it took me quite a while maybe another couple of years after getting back into sewing to get up the confidence to start sharing my own makes and even when I look back on some of the first pictures on my Instagram page I'm a bit like oh gosh why, why did you share that but then uh, actually it's quite nice to be able to see the progression isn't it um yeah so I, I love I love the community I love being part of the community and um, that's probably been the biggest change over the last four years for me. So number four is finding my tribe. And obviously that you know is a direct result of, of discovering the online sewing community. I just feel like I've got my place now in the world. I fit. And I never really had that before. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I moved around quite a bit when I was a kid. And um, my dad changed jobs a few times so I kind of moved in between primary and secondary school and then I moved just before I started taking my exams in secondary school and um, again when I had my first child my parents moved again but I stayed behind at that point because I was starting my own family um, but I think because of that all of that sort of upheaval I kind of never really found my group where, where I felt like I fit um, and yeah, the sewing community is that I found it and I'm so happy that I found it. 
I've made online friends, I've made real life friends, I go to so-and-so socials, we have brilliant days out, you know, I talk to people on, on Instagram and, and on YouTube and it's just brilliant, I absolutely love it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what, um, what your history is, you know, what your beliefs are, we've just all got this lovely common interest in sewing and it brings us all together and, and I love it. So, yeah. If you're part of the sewing community, which you probably are if you're watching my video, then um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for being here and letting me be here because I love it. Love you all. <laughs> anyway, soppy, soppy bit over. Uh, number five is it's just increased my confidence, like no end. Um, I think through all of the four things that I've already said, I have learned so much about myself and my personal style, what makes me happy, what doesn't make me happy. And I just feel so much more confident in my, uh, you know, my wardrobe, life generally. I've got great friends and yeah, that's all because of sewing. I mean, how crazy is that? <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, four years ago, I probably wouldn't have gone out in, in anything that I'd worn. But now, I rarely go out without wearing anything that I've made, if that makes sense. Did I say that right in the first bit? <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. But, yeah, so how things have changed in the last four years is really incredible. So, I suppose, if there's anything, if there's any advice that I could give to anyone out there reflecting on the last four years for me is that don't um don't waste any time you know if there's something that you want to try something that you want to give it a go then do it because you know i probably wasted 25 years thinking yeah i'd really like to start sewing again and i didn't do it i kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and if i hadn't have done that you know if i had started sewing or just carried on sewing, you know, from when I left home. What, you know, how different could my life have been? It could have been completely different. It, that could have been something that I turned into a career rather than a hobby. It could have been so different. Um, but yeah, don't put things off. Life's short. Get on and have fun and do the things that make you happy. Anyway, yeah, that's my that's my take on it. So let me know. Let me know what you think. You know, how has your life changed over the last four years, either in your sewing practice, what do you do differently now than that you did at the start, or just life in general, you know, what's gone on, what's gone on for you? Hopefully things are good, things are better than they were four years ago. Um, but yeah, get chatting, let me know, let me know your thoughts. So as usual anyway, it's really nice to have you here. Thank you for listening to me waffle on today. <laughs> I hope you didn't mind this kind of vlog. I haven't shown you anything. I've just waffled on. Um, but yeah, give me a like if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you don't already. That would be lovely. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon. Bye.